is the accordion hat and we showed it on our Wednesday live broadcast and people want the instructions on how to do it, especially the beginners. So we're going to do this. This I did, I made with the Karen Latte Cakes and this is considered a number five bulky yarn and they're suggesting ten and a half knitting needles. But this one is the Lion Brand Landscapes and they consider this a number four yarn but they're suggesting a number ten knitting needles. So I used a ten circular 24 inch long knitting needles for both. So let's do this. I cast it on 75 stitches with long tail cast on. I still need five more. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to place my marker there. I'll put this a little bit closer. So now I am going to connect my two needles, making sure that the stitches around my needle, all the cast on stitches, are looking toward the inside so it doesn't get twisted. So all the cast ons are there. And now I'm going to start knitting and I am going to knit around with those 75 stitches five rows or rounds. So go around so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five and then I'll come back and start with the pearl. Okay I finished my five rows of knit and now I'm going to change to pearl. So I pass my marker, put my yarn in front and start purling and I will purl for five rows. And I'm going to repeat five rows of knit, five rows of purl for seven times and then I will do a very soft bind off and that's it, that's all there is to it and I'll come back when I'm ready to bind off. Okay so I'm at the end and I have 14 changes which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ridges and I have this much left. So I'm barely going to make it with one ball of yarn and if you don't want to risk it you can finish your cowl on that last row of the knit, knit stitch or uh, cast on 72 instead of 75. It's not going to make that much difference. So let's go and I'm going to show you how to bind off pearl wise. Let me put this a little bit closer. So what you want to do is that you're going to purl one, purl the next one, put your yarn in the back so it's not in the way and bind off. So bind off loosely. So another one and bind off pick up that one and over the last bring your yarn to the front purl another one, take it to the back and pass that one over the last one let's do that again so you're going to purl the next one Whoops! this yarn splits a little so you have to be careful purl and then the first one goes over the last one and then again you pull another one and the first one goes over the last one and you do that very softly around your your piece and I'll come back to show you how to weave in the ends 
Okay, so I have one left and I can't believe I barely made it with one ball of yarn. So I do recommend that you cast on one last stitch or do 72 or finish on that row underneath. Anyway, whatever you wish. This is what I had left. Look at this. Amazing. So, okay. So now what we want to do is that last loop, pull it, pull it through, pull the yarn. It's not going to go anywhere. And then we want to put our needle and we are going to look at that first bind off that stitch there and pass the needle through that loop on one side and the other. So like that we can mark a stitch and make it look like it's another one. So there we go. See it looks like if it's another stitch and pull it until it looks nice. So let's see. You can decide which one you want side you want to use. Let's see what the other side looks like. Since they're the same, I think I like this side better. Yeah, okay, so now what we want to do is go and make a little small not right there right there there we go and weave in those ends and you do that at the beginning and at the end just weave it through let's see how that looks and then that's it do the same on the other side You go and find the edge where the knot is, where your knitted started, and go into that loop, pick it up, and then come back where you left off, and then you can weave in the ends. Make a little knot there. and pull it real tight and then weave in the end and that's it I'll take some pictures of this and show you to so that you can see how it looks and uh, we're going to come back with the hat also and thank you very much for watching please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I'll see you next time